On Sunday, November 15th, Jewish Voice for Peace held a protest against the American-Israeli Public Affairs Committee, better known as APAC. I spoke with three Seattle activists outside the Weston Hotel. What's wrong with APAC and the reason why we're demonstrating here today is that we protest their basically wholesale, wholehearted support for Israeli policies such as the occupation of Palestine territories and the vicious and brutal assault on Gaza that took place for much of January in which Israeli forces managed to kill 1,300 Palestinians and more, mostly civilians, destroying mosques and schools and even UN facilities and using illegal weapons of war. So th that's just for starters something that I hold against APAC and I also think they have way too much uh, influence on our government. They should, you know, they have too much money and our representatives are scared of them. I because we're airing APAC's Dirty Laundry. APAC is the American-Israeli Public Affairs Committee. They have just worked to censor the Goldstone Report in Congress. They got Congress to censor it. The Goldstone Report is written by Richard Goldstone, who is a South African Jew, and it details Israeli and Hamas war crimes. So what we're doing here today is we're airing APAC's Dirty Laundry. We have signs that um, are shaped like laundry, and they have Israeli war crimes documented, and so it's things that Israel did that were documented in this report for the UN. So it would be things like um, attacking civilians, using Palestinians as human shields, bombing mosques, shooting at Palestinians who are carrying white flags of surrender. And so we're trying to show that this, like that Israel, uh, that APAC claims it is a supporting Israel, but this is actually not good for Israel to support everything it does blindly, including war crimes. I am here today uh, in solidarity with the Palestinians and also with uh, Jews all over the world who don't agree with Israel's current occupation and subjugation policy. That's why my sign is here that says we will not be silent and English and Hebrew. I think it's very important to exercise our First Amendment rights in this fashion and hopefully to start educating or replacing some of our elected officials and start doing what um, the U.S. government seems very reluctant to do, which is uh, observe international law, and that would hasten the end of the occupation.